gentlemen what is going on it is good to see all of you once again hey i do apologize we didn't get to uh do any hunting because everything's pretty much out of season besides a couple of predators um and we didn't get to do any fishing because well i actually tried to it's been raining like crazy it stopped raining for like five seconds i ran back down to that creek from the lydia uh video like if i can talk last week went back down there it was like chocolate milk and five uh class five rapids okay not happening there is absolutely no way I was catching anything in that. I actually still tried for a few minutes, but wasn't happening. I called it quits pretty early, but uh, we did, and like you saw in the, the little intro thing there, we did get the boat cleaned up and I got it taken down to Lake Casitas and inspected. So March 8th, which is a Friday, so March 9th, bass fishing will start. They're already starting to pre-spawn from what I'm hearing. So expect some probably still pre-spawn but also some uh some bed fishing as well coming march 9th will be the day i'm doing it so 10th or 11th uh should be coming out pretty excited to get that video filmed for you guys but a little bit away so what i'm working on currently i have a guy headed to the house right now i'm actually i'm selling the dirt bike never even rode it guys but i'm making a profit and that's all that matters coming out on top and I'm doing something uh, something a little special and it doesn't seem to be working quite as well as I wanted it to be. Um, now I'll go ahead and just tell you guys, I'm trying to repower my bass boat. I'm trying to get rid of that old 88 Johnson that's on on the boat right now. She's, uh, she's getting tired. She's getting ready to retire for sure. I was looking at down powering honestly to a 115. Still will push the boat plenty fine for the lakes we have around here and uh, be able to get a little newer of a year model because so i'm not going to get brand new there's just no point in putting a brand new motor on a 98 vessel but uh nonetheless i'm uh, still working to see how that's going to work out if it doesn't work out then i'm just going to drop a good chunk of change into the old 88 get her running for another solid two or three years hopefully or until i can find a good deal to uh to get a new motor put on there so that's what we're in the works on i'm gonna go get this dirt bike sold because that's a good profit piece right there good chunk of change to put towards that so um that's what i'm gonna go do i'm gonna go get this dirt bike sold and then after that we'll uh we'll talk a little more went ahead and got all the uh extra parts pulled out for the dirt bike there she is not to be sitting there too much longer she's she's going bye bye guys never even got to ride her but that's okay like i said we're gonna we're gonna try and take this old johnson 88 believe it or not that is an 88 1988 motor we're gonna try and get rid of it and uh, put something on a little newer, probably like I said, downsized to a 115. I've also got all this tackle taken out of the boat. The boat was pretty much cleaned out besides just these few things that have accumulated on top of it. Um, so I need to go back through and get everything put back in here. I'm also trying to get some new seats, some uh, actual like blast off bass boat seats instead of these little flip fold down i mean these are the original those are the original seats from 1999 uh 98 excuse me all original seats this is exactly how she came in 98 so try and upgrade those as well and uh eventually going to get a new paint job on this thing if uh if i stick around here too long she'll uh she'll definitely end up with a new paint job so like i said got to get that stuff put back in pretty much the plan for the remainder of the week uh, pretty much get rid of this dirt bike, which should be happening in the next few minutes. Put all this tackle back in the boat. Get it ready to go fishing, even though it's got like 30 more days of quarantine. Get the 1988 Johnson either, I mean, extreme makeover or replaced. That is my main goal. It's honestly why I'm selling the uh, selling the dirt bike. Got to get rid of that thing and uh, put some money into the boat. Get ready for fishing season. I mean, let's be honest. I was never going to ride that dirt bike. I'd I'm a hunting and fishing kind of guy. You know, get the money put in the boat. It's gonna look much better. Cannot wait. So guys, this was a totally random, just, I, I just wanted to talk to you guys. You know, one one video a week at least, you know, I gotta keep that momentum going. Um, so sorry we didn't get out and we didn't kill anything or catch anything. I hope you guys forgive me for that. 
I went over and uh, talked with Jeff Davis and handed over my buffle head that I killed in like three or four videos ago. I'll link that down below or up at the top somewhere if you guys want to check that out. And uh, turned that over to him to get taxidermied. And hopefully within six to eight months, that's complete and up on the wall. It's going to be my first, I would say bird, but first anything really that I've ever professionally taxidermied. I've done some skull mounts myself, which didn't turn out too hot. But nonetheless, it's pretty much my first taxidermy animal period so pretty excited to have that so nonetheless i hope you guys enjoyed this just total randomness just kind of me checking in with y'all letting y'all know what's happening things are still rolling don't forget about me okay enjoy the rest of this randomness with old jeff davis there's the outdoorsman it's jeff davis there he is everybody hour. I only get an hour? Mmm, <laughs> that was delicious. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> we were eating some bait. Hi, bud. Hey. You have to excuse me. Woo! Woo! Shh. Shh. Hey. 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 I wasn't even recording. That's what she said? Do it again, it wasn't ready. That's what she said. <laughs> Let me just put this there. Does this fit on here? No, it doesn't fit on there. Hey, so there was this one time I was hanging out with Dustin and he didn't realize I was sneaking some gentleman jack on the side and I was feeling pretty good and uh, I didn't think he pressed record. And we didn't know what to say, so we just started reveling. <laughs> Shit. So here we are. <laughs> All right. So it's probably dead. No, it's still alive. Okay. Yeah. You just gotta it's warm it up. Probably not happy that you've got it. You just gotta thaw it out. Bag, you know. I mean, just thaw it out, and it's good. Nice. Purples. Did I do good enough? You yeah. think? No, that's good enough, man. Look, the reason why we put the head under the wings is so that. When it's frozen and it's in your freezer, you don't go and break the neck. Mm. Just means that's more that so blood stain I was telling you about in the chest. No, it's a, no, <laughs> throw it in the trash. It ain't <laughs> no good. It's got a blood stain. No, no more. Yeah, that's what Don's for. Don and and links, links rust remover. Get it links, but you use some rust remover on this, and then you take a straw and. You and make sure you got a little bit of Tabasco on there because it ain't going to taste too good without it. Yeah, bro. This is nice. There's a very distinctive, very specific pink that they're, I mean, it's like flesh color that you don't, I have not seen this on any other bird. Yeah. I mean, even snow, snows, they have their own peach color and skin color but it's it's completely co different color you know so yeah it's looking good so like i was telling you and telling the camera earlier is i really would like a flying position kind of like that ish almost but maybe not cupped down like that guy something ish like that but not that's almost like a landing position, like a lighting position, I think. That is a back flap right there. So what that bird is doing is as it's coming in to, to land, it's back flapping. Um, some people call it angel wings. Um, but basically the, the purpose of it, of that action is to slow it down as it comes into that water. So now, <clears throat> I can see that you shot it in the wing. Yeah, it does have a pellet hole in the wing. All right, so the pellet hole is not a big deal. That I can sew. If you've shattered or broke any of the shafts mm -hmm. or quills um, on the feathers, it's it's going to limit how we can position adjust it. adjust and position the the wing. You see what I'm saying? Right. Just, just because you scuff it up or whatever doesn't mean you can't regroom it. Because if you think about it, they have oil glands at the back. 
and they take that little bit of, you know, Joe's son, I'm sorry, Joe Duardo's son, the great googly moogly, 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 boogly. Anyways, Joe Duardo was over here with his son, and I was telling Thomas how those little, they're not teeth. He thought they were teeth, and I said, they're not teeth. It's so they can push the water through right. and keep the food in their mouths, but they also <laughs> go over the oil gland and then comb each one. So as long as it's not broken, you can always groom those into a position to where they look proper. But if you got broken shafts, part of the feathers missing, it it's still mountable, but it's not going to be perfect. Right. You know, and that's quite all right if the customer is okay with it not being perfect. So if you got a broken quill and you still want a particular pose that that you can see that from then i'm kind of in the like if it is missing a feather or it's broken because i shot it well it's on the wall because i shot it so that's all right so there it is there <laughs> so like with a pintail a lot of people they don't want their pintails whitened they'll they'll have like a rust color like that one over there see that mount over there in the corner yeah i mounted that without whitening or lightening the color off of it so it stayed natural but I can tell you right now, you shattered this wing, so we'll see how the feathers are. The bones don't matter. I can reconstruct the bones with wire mm. and backfill it. I mean, my job is to strip out the marrow from inside the bones, all the meat from outside the bones, clean all the grease off, get rid of all the biomatter on it, and preserve it so that it'll last for generations. So, you know, got to really take a look at it but it it i mean like you said you don't care about the flaws because it's an experience you want to remember you want to bring that adventure to life yeah i shot the thing like yeah. that's things tend to get a little messy whenever you shoot them shotguns kind of do that a little bit <laughs> yeah yeah that's like when people you know mount a deer and they neck shot it and they try to take another hide and patch over i'm like you shot it in the net. What did you think was going to happen? You know what I'm saying? Like, I actually had put a big old bullet hole in that thing and put it up on the wall. I actually had a client that brought some birds to Chuck and I and his uh, three honkers. And those birds were right on top of them to the point where one of the wads ended up in the bird's chest. Oh, and there God. Was a bear, it's like a slug. Bear, yeah, <laughs> it, it, it was a bare spot of feathers because, like, literally this thing just embedded in... <laughs> And there, I'm like, hey, I, jokingly, I told the client, I'm all, hey, I can make it, I can make it look like that, I can make it look like that thing is inside. It. And he goes, no, nah, no, nah, I don't think the wife would like that. And sure enough, after the story got back to the wife and everything, she's like, oh no, you should do that. So we ended up having to add it afterwards. I would have liked to have done it ahead of time. That way, yeah. I could have made it look even more realistic. Yeah. But it came out great. They were stoked. So that's what matters. So there's the bird. <laughs> We're, uh, we're going to get started on that eventually. Like I said, guys, I don't know how long this series is going to last getting this bird mounted. It's definitely not a priority. It's just a when we have time kind of thing. So nonetheless, we're going to uh, do what we can with it, and hopefully it turns out good and ends up on the wall. Yeah, I think it's going to go on the wall regardless. And you said you wanted a flyer, right? I would like to, yeah, as okay. long as that wing's well, not too. see what we can do. Oh, never <laughs> mind. It didn't work. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Be free. That's for Robin Williams right there. I think that every time I grab an egg to make my breakfast, I was one to pull Robin Williams, you know, mark for mark. Be free. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like for this bird right here because it is going to be absolutely beautiful. Hey, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Many more adventures to come. Hopefully going to be doing some more stuff with this guy here in the near future. All right, guys. Crazy. Peace, Peace out. Peace out.